Hello everybody, Chad here for Griffin Pipes. It's been a little bit since I made a video. <clears throat> it's been busy and kind of under the weather. But uh, today I'm smoking my Christmas 2024 Peterson Pipe. It's ADS, rusticated. In it, I'm smoking some Golden Days of Yorn. I thought that'd be suitable for Christmas pipe. It's a decent blend. It ain't nothing <clears throat> spectacular. I like their... Uh, St. Nick blend or something like that. I can't remember what it is. It's a lot better. Also, show I got another Christmas pipe. Bought two of them. <clears throat> Wasn't sure. I thought, well, I'll buy one or buy two and which one I don't like, I'll sell maybe. Wasn't sure which one I'd like the best. But I've smoked this one. This is the second time I've smoked it. And it's the first time I smoked Blood Red Moon. And for a Peterson, man, they smoke unreal. They're the best Petersons I've ever had. For this and as that other one's unsmoked. But <clears throat> since smoking these, I probably keep both of them. I like them bent bulldogs. The thing is, they got probably, if I can get it to enough room. drill out and put filters in. That's probably what I'll do. I got a bunch of unfiltered pipes and like to have some more filtered pipes. So I'll probably end up drilling both these out and putting Dr. Pearl's Junior Shorty filters in them, six millimeters. And they'll be uh, Virginia smokers at that point. Or Virginia based, let me put it that way. But uh, absolutely no gurgle so far in these. And that's unusual for a Peterson. I bought a Savinelli Christmas pipe. <clears throat> it just don't compare to that, man. That that thing is just absolutely beautiful. Uh, the only thing it'd make it any better if it had a real Cumberland stem instead of the acrylic but i do like the acrylic and uh, i think it's just unreal how pretty it is i'm gonna probably try to do uh four or five christmas pipes of my own this year hopefully uh get started on them middle of next month I don't know if I can get I've got some pipes to make and I'm that close to get my shop back up and going I've got all my equipment in here got it wired got my main wire to put in I just got to get my trench dug and then my building be up and going I downsized on my sandblast cabinet the other one man it was absolutely awesome and it just it was unreal but it's too big for my shop <clears throat> and so i bought a vivor chinese sandblast cabinet and the bad thing is to get it not even close to as good as the other one I've got as much in it as I sold the other one for.
that other one was a steal. I sold it for eight hundred dollars, mm -hmm. and it was a steal at eight hundred dollars. It's six thousand dollar cabinet, and if I had to do over, I'd probably keep it. And once I got my shop done, I'm build it on the back side of my garage that I'm building, and my garage is unfinished at this point. I would have put it in my garage and just did all my sandblasting in there, but neither here nor there, I've got a smaller cabinet now, and it, it fits good in my shop. I'll do a video of show you around the shop here in a minute at the end. And, uh, but yeah, uh, like I said, I'll probably, if I, I've got a few pipes to make, if I can get them done in enough time, I may make a few Halloween pipes. But I'd like to do four or five Christmas pipes this year. I done one last year. I've got in mind what I want to do. Uh, I've got some uh, white pearl stem material that's just unreal. It's beautiful. And I may do a black or a real dark rustication. And I may try to do some copper. Uh, <clears> that <throat> it just looks so beautiful. You know, to me, it's, it's just unreal. I like the copper on them. I like copper better than silver and gold. I think it just, it's nicer looking. But uh, I'm gonna try my hand at the copper. May not work. May try to do a little copper on it somehow. But anyways, that's my plan. And uh, <clears throat> I've been consistently at 537 subs so I'm going to uh, do a gall. Not for sure what I'm gonna do, ask to do. Uh, well, I tell you what. Uh, since it's getting close to Christmas, do if you if you do, to say I'm in and you get one uh, entry, but if you do a VR and tell me what your favorite Christmas blend is, uh, I'd like to know, you know, a uh, little bit about them. Uh, I know a lot of the people, like Strauss has Sleepy Hollow for Halloween. I don't know if they have one for Christmas. I know Boswell has Christmas cookie, and LJ Pretty has a Thanksgiving one, I think. <clears throat> but well, I tell you what, just do it. Tell me what your favorite holiday blend that somebody makes. Uh, I'd like to know about them, and that kind of my good. Uh, know what all's out there, and maybe try some of them. But uh, if you do do a VR, you get two entries. And uh, just say I'm in, and uh, you'll get one entry. Uh, so far, I've got McQuillan's Christmas cheer. It don't excite me that much. Uh, there's some Ken Byron uh, Virginias that I like better than the Christmas cheer. I'll probably get roasted for that, but it just, it's not one of my favorites. <clears throat> uh, I do have a, the aromatic. Just hold on a second and I'll show you. I'll be right back. Back. Jolly old St. Nick. Uh, that to me is a real good Christmas blend. Uh, it's got an orange kind of flavor. Uh, it was, I think, made in 2020 or 2022. I think you can still get it. But uh, 
It's a light Virginia. You got some Cavendish and stuff in it. It's a sweet, not overly sweet, but still got a good tobacco flavor. Uh, that's probably my favorite Christmas blend so far. Uh, I like it better than the Golden Years of Yorn. And my, that may be better with a little bit of age. But I don't get no... I know he calls for spices, Christmas spices and caramel and stuff like that. And I ain't a big aromatic fan, but when I smoke aromatic, I want to kind of taste the aromatic stuff. And uh, I don't really get it out of that. It's, it's more of a Virginia Oriental blend. Don't get me wrong, it's it's pretty good, but it ain't one of my favorites. And, uh, but, uh, the end, let's go, let this run till the second Saturday in October. I don't know what date that is, but I'll put it out the exact date in one of my other videos. So we'll know the date, but uh, that'll be the cutoff date. And then the Sunday after I'll do the uh, drawing for the pipe. <clears throat> I don't know what pipe I'm gonna make, give away yet, but I'll come up with something. Uh, and that'll give me a little time to get my shop going. This stuff here is kind of hard to keep lit. But uh, that's about all I've got for now. Like I said, I'll do a video here in a minute of my shop and show you what it's looking like so far for you that's interested. But uh, till next time, remember, we're all brothers of Lee. Okay, guys, this is a little tour of my shop. It's where I've been doing my filming. Uh, real quick, I, I do a, when I hunt, uh, like shooting long range, I've got this, uh, tripod that I bought off Amazon. It's a carbon fiber. I bought it because it's lightweight and got a, uh, a shooting, but it's a uh, ball head on it for competitive shooting, but, uh, it works good for, I can put my gun in it. It's called Arca Swiss. And uh, so I, you can buy all the stuff and buy cheaper stuff that's lighter weight and not as precise off Amazon, pretty cheap. Uh, but the thing that I really like is this metal phone holder. I've been tired, getting tired of them little cheap plastic ones that break, they don't work good. That's a top-notch setup. You can... You could buy it fairly reasonable on Amazon and you won't be buying two or three of them because they break. I wanted something to hold up, but here's my briar. And I do have some, bought a few stumbles that was unfinished and uh, needs drilling that's partially done. Uh, I've got a lot of briar, but I've, Probably got close to 2,500 pieces of briar, counting the stumbles. There's my, going to be my buffing table. I've got to finish fixing stuff to keep it from uh, making a mess going everywhere because that's nasty when you buffing. Uh, there's, this is my reloading, which I do shooting and hunting. It's going to be my reloading set up in here. Uh, some metal shelves, uh, my cabinets, old antique uh, plug cutter, my cabinets there, mostly got uh, tobacco in them. Uh, <laughs> working on a uh, solar powered fencer. Uh, there's some pipes that I've got started that need to get finished. Uh, my countertops or my bench that I made. 
I got a little spot for my drills and stuff up out of the way, my little belt sander, uh, my French wheel set up. Uh, it, uh, I've still got to get a few parts for it to get it ready to go. There's my new sandblast cabinet. It's a lot smaller than the other one. It's got dust collection on it and everything. Uh, my wood lathe. I've got to get a spot for all of my wood turning uh, tools to put up. I still got to trim around my windows and paint overhead and put my ceiling in, my finished ceiling. There's my mill and my metal lathe. Got a bunch of my tooling up there on here and getting everything ready. Uh, a bunch of uh, tooling for making pipes. Uh, my drawer that's full of steel material that I've been trying to get collected up. I don't know if you can really see it or not, but this is the, the white pearl material that I was talking about. That I was thinking about doing for Christmas pipes. And uh, I've got some red and black that I may, may do a few out of, but that pretty much sums it.